All right, here he is, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal, longtime representative of American Top Team. You know how happy it would make Dan Lambert if Masvidal could finally break through and win a UFC championship. He's as close to that level as he's been in his UFC career. As he's ever been. He's finally on the cusp of earning what so many people have hoped for for him. But that doesn't happen by accident. The reason he's this close now is because of the commitment that he has made to mixed martial arts. Commitment that he has made to evolving his game, going up to 170 pounds, and also using everything that he has in order to get to where he wants to be. Before, there might have been distractions. Now, Jorge Masvidal is solely focused on becoming a UFC champion. He left his family to go compete in a reality show outside of the United and States. Gave him, a, yeah, Juan, <laughs> gave him a lot of focus and direction, and he has put all of that to good use here in the UFC. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jiu-jitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Masvidal is six years his senior. He will have a four-inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 16 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Jorge Gamebred Marcinal. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. All right, Griffin. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, my fight. First round is underway, no denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. That was a thudding leg kick. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Ooh, what a punch. Well, that's not what you're looking for defensively. He moved right into that hook, and his opponent wisely lands it to the body there. He has been increasingly more susceptible to that strike. Let's see if that one gets his attention. Plus right hand is true.
driver in the back of the head, pulling forward on the head and then landing on a beautiful punch. Really has got his opponent on notice here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? And he landed the right hand there. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. Lunges forward with a left there. Ooh, Ooh we what a right hand by this young man. Back and forth we go here. That shot blocked by Short. Ooh, head kick lands was hurt. He's so committed to body punching. Misses with that punch. Ooh, he needs to start looking for finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's done. He's done. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Try to establish that jab. Final seconds. The horn sounds for the end of round one. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint, DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? Go, go, go. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Effective punch there by Chor. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Single collar tie now. Big kick lands. Left hand punches the clinch. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice connection with the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Bleeding from his oh. cheek now. Oh! There are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling could really be entertaining. Just over two minutes to go in round two. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motion on the mat. He wipes it out! We're watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliani has called a stop for this contest at three minutes, two seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi.
Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.